everyone, my name is Morgan Boskin and I'm a graduate assistant at the Kinney Center for Autism Education and Support. Today we have a virtual program on being flexible. What is being flexible? Being flexible means to be able to listen to my friend's ideas or plans, playing what my friend wants to play, letting other people go first, and being okay with schedule changing. What is rock burning? This is the opposite of being flexible. So sometimes we may get stuck and have a rock break. You have a rock brain if you get stuck on your own ideas and thoughts, you do not want to listen to another person's ideas, and you only think about yourself. Here are some examples of flexible thoughts you can have. So this is not having a rock brain, rock brain. this is being flexible and having elastic thinking. So I'll read a few of them and you can read the others. I should, I should appreciate what I have. This might not be so bad. I know I can figure out what to do if I take my time. Maybe I can try it a different way this time. I don't know if I like something until I try it. Sometimes things change that I can't control and that's okay. This is not worth being upset about. So you can pause the video here and read the other ones if you would like. Going on, why do I need to be flexible? We need to be flexible to be nice to other people, to help make friends, and to show your friends that you care about them. Being flexible is so important. So during this time, you can pause this video and you can practice being flexible with your parent or any adult that's with you, or you can practice trying being flexible throughout the day. So when you want to play a game, or even if you want to snack for mom or dad or whoever's watching you that day, but they say no, think about how you can be flexible in this situation. Think about how you can have some of those flexible thoughts we just went over in the previous slide. During this time, you can even talk about what being flexible means, and you can even draw a story to help you visualize it. So now we're gonna show a few video videos on being flexible. During this time, you can welcome to pause the videos, you're welcome to skip through whatever you would like. After the videos, we have some activities that you can do. All right, now we're gonna get into it. Hello there, it's the sign, your cute and furry punk rover! And I'm Zachary, and we are here to tell you all about today's word. Yes, today's word! Let me get right to it. Boing, 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 boing. I am demonstrating today's word! Boing, boing, I'm boing. Sure you are, Grover. You see, today's word is flexible. Flexible? Yes. I thought today's word was bouncy. I'm sorry, Grover. It's, uh, it's, it's flexible. Oh, no! Oh. But you know what? That is okay. That is okay, because even though my mind was set on telling the whole world about bouncy, I can easily change it and talk about flexible sure. Great. If I only knew what it meant. Actually, Grover, you were just being flexible. I was? Well, what did I do that was flexible? Well, flexible means to change or bend easily, and just now you had your mindset on doing one thing, yeah. but you changed it easily, so you were being a flexible thinker. Oh, wow, well, I did not even know I could do that. What else can be flexible? Uh, a plan can be oh, flexible. Oh, come on, Zachary, please. How can a plan be flexible? Well, you know how tomorrow we're supposed to go bowling? Yeah. I can't make it. <gasps> oh, no! No, Zachary, I'm please! Sorry, tell me it's not so... Oh. I'm sorry, but can you go any other day? Um, uh, yes, yes, I can. I am free Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Well, you can change your plan easily, so you have a flexible plan. Oh, no! What, what else could be flexible? Oh. Well, this straw can be flexible. Yeah. Well, does this straw want to go bowling with us, too? <laughs> no. Grover, but flexible means to change or bend easily, and the straw can yeah. bend easily. So the straw oh. is... Flexible! Flexible, yes. Yeah. So check this out. Yeah. Can this hose bend easily? Yes, it can. So this hose is... Flexible! Flexible! Oh, hey, I know something else that can bend easily. What's that? Cute and free me! Yeah! <laughs> oh, wow. I could do that, too. Yeah? Yeah! Oh, ho, 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 ho. 
Flexible. Flexible. Hey, let's try the other leg. Yeah. 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 Flexible. Flexible. Okay, that was the end of the first video about being flexible. So this video is a clip from Willy Wonka. So in this clip, we see a child, she is not being flexible. So you can feel free to pause this video at any time or skip through if you don't want to watch it. So at the end of this video, you can talk about how she was not being flexible, how she had rock brain and what she should have done to be flexible instead. Golden Goose. Here we go again. All right, sweetheart. All right. Daddy will get you a Golden Goose as soon as we get home. No, I want one of those. Wonka, how much do you want for the Golden Goose? They're not for sale. Name your price. She can't have one. Who says I can't? The man with a funny hat. I want one. I want a Golden Goose. Gooses. Geeses. I want my geese to lay gold eggs for Easter. It will, sweetheart. At least a hundred a day. Anything you say. By the way, what? I want a feast. You ate before you came to the factory. I want a bean feast. Oh, one of those. Cream buns and donuts and fruitcake with no nuts. So good you could go nuts. You're going to have all those things when you get home. No, now. I want a ball. I want a party. Pink macaroons and a million balloons and performing buffoons and give it to me <laughs> now. I want the world. I want the whole world. I want to lock it all up in my pocket. It's my bar of chocolates. Give it to me now. I want today. I want tomorrow. I want to wear them like braids in my hair and I don't want to share them. I want a party with roomfuls of laughter, 10,000 tons of ice cream. And if I don't get the things I am after, I'm going to scream. I want the work. I want the whole work. Presents and prizes and sweets and surprises. So now we have a story on being flexible. This is a so like a social story. If you want, you can skip ahead to the activities. It's up to you. I like to play with my friends. But I like to play my way. I don't like to listen to their ideas. I don't want to do what they want. Sometimes I get upset and fight with my friends. My friends get scared when I yell at them. Then my friends leave and won't play with me anymore. Now I'm alone. Being alone makes me sad. I still like playing my way, but I would rather have friends. I need to do things differently next time. So next time, I can take a deep breath when I'm frustrated. I can listen to my friend's ideas. I could choose to play alone, or I could choose to play how my friends want. But whatever I choose, I will use a nice voice, nice hands, and I will respect my friends. Next, we have our first activity. So this is activity one, scenarios. So parents or guardians, you can write out scenarios where a kiddo is displaying flexible thinking and scenarios where a kiddo is displaying rock 
brain thinking. You can write these out on pieces of paper. You could type them up on the computer to make it a little faster. You can write them on, up on index cards. It's up to you. Um, then you can have kiddos read through these scenarios with you, or you can read them to them. It depends on your situation. And you can together decide if it's flexible thinking or rock brain thinking. And you can do this together. The reason I don't have pre-made scenarios I, is that it's different for every kiddo. So it's up to you. The next activity is hands-on learning. So this is pretty simple. You can use things around the house. So this is basically um, a visual display of flexible thinking versus having a rock brain. So you can show your kiddo a real rock and then, pl and then um, Play-Doh or clay, depends. You can use these items to explain what a rock brain is versus being flexible. So you have those real items. They can talk about that rock's hard. They can talk about that a clay is soft and you can squish it around. It's up to them. They can write this on a piece of paper as well or you can just verbally talk about it. So first they can talk about the items themselves and then they can translate that into the idea of flexible thinking versus a rock brain. You can help them along the way too. So remember, we have to have flexible thinking. We need to do this because we can be nice to other people to help us make friends and to show your friends that you care about them. Have a great day and be safe.